guys welcome back so today we're gonna talk about something that is near and dear to my heart okay yes aside from eyeshadow dessert <laughs> i love me some sweets you guys i have a terrible sweet tooth and i'm pretty sure that's how i ended up with this palette okay now when i first talked about these different food palettes coming out i was like i ain't buying that mess i am not buying that it's too gimmicky nope not doing it but <laughs> i saw this palette you guys and i was like i gotta have it i gotta have it i gotta have it so i ended up getting this food item palette the one i'm talking about today is the fresh baked cookie palette and this is from bombshell cosmetics you guys look at this cute little box okay this is what the packaging looks like and i'm pretty sure they did the blue because you know it reminds you of the chips ahoy cookie bag okay they didn't go ahead and steal the whole <laughs> the whole look of the packaging but it reminds me of the Chips Ahoy cookies, okay? But it's so freaking cute. It has 12 pieces on there because it has 12 shadows, but really cute. Now, the back of the palette, it does have the ingredients. It lists the names of the shadows. I don't know who in the world they think can read that, but it sure ain't me. So, just a heads up. We're not going to be using shadow names today in today's tutorial, okay? <laughs> but they're really tiny down here for the shadow names it is cruelty free it has a 24 month shelf life and like i said this is from bombshell cosmetica and it is just super duper cute now the palette comes in bubble wrap of course but this is what the palette looks like <laughs> you know what now you y'all know this is cute don't even sit there and act like it's not cute this mug is cute okay it's making me want a cookie right now but it's just a cookie it's really thin cardboard so it's not anything huge or heavy it's just a really cute cookie shaped palette now on the back it does say fresh baked it says bombshell cosmetica on there it has the same information ingredients it is cruelty free 24 month, month shelf life but that's what the back of this cute little palette looks like now when you slide the cookie apart as you can see it completely comes apart it's not connected in any way there are magnets inside of you know the palette and the top to keep it together when you have it on your shelf or whatever, which is really cool. But this side of the cookie has a mirror. I won't blind you, but you can see there's a mirror on there. So, got your little mirror. It's not that, I mean, I don't know, some people might find this a little more convenient to use because you don't have to hold the whole palette to do your makeup. So, you can have your palette sitting in front of you and hold your mirror. So, actually, that might be a little bit better than regular palettes. So, anyway, this is the top to the palette with the mirror on it. Super cute. And these are the shadows in the cookie palette. So as you can see, it is a very warm tone palette. Um, a lot of nice brown matte shadows. It has a beautiful burgundy toned shadows as well, which I love. There's only five mattes, but there are seven shimmers in y'all. When I swatched the shimmers, I was like, I want to use every single one of these shimmers on my eye today. <laughs> I was like, how can I use all these shimmers? Now, I didn't use all of them, but I did use four. I used four of them on my cut crease, okay? That's how much I was just like, oh my gosh. And you guys will see when I swatch this palette what I'm talking about. These shimmers are amazing. Now the mattes are very nicely pigmented as well. As you can see, they blended out very nicely in my crease area, blended out very nicely. I like them, had no issues. The pigment is very, very nice. Okay, so let me go ahead, do some swatches for you guys so you can see what I mean about these shimmers and then we'll go ahead and move forward. see those shimmers you see exactly what I'm talking about oh my gosh bomb and they performed 
very nicely. I did not wet my brush not one time just because I wanted to see exactly how they would perform with a dry brush and oh my gosh amazing now as you can see the mattes are nicely pigmented they don't swatch as nicely as the shimmers but they're definitely pigmented and nice and soft so yes you guys the stars of these palettes are these shimmers look at all that twinkle that glimmer and shimmer okay <laughs> bomb now you guys the only negative that i have regarding this palette at this time is the fact that they did not put the names actually on the palette if you're someone who cares about shadow names being on the palette then that might bother you because it's not on the back of the palette and it's really really tiny on the box so that's the only negative i have to say about this cookie palette you guys i love it i think it's cute the color story to me is just so warm and rich. It really reminds me of, you know, like fall and winter colors. But because of all these gorgeous, colorful shimmers that you guys saw, you can really make a nice eye look for spring or summer and just have that lid pop in you guys. I love it. Like I said, <laughs> as you can see, I used all of these colors on my lid today. I fell in love with them just immediately. So I love them. I love the fact actually that the mattes are the warm, earthy, brown tones because, you know, it's like very, very brown girl friendly to me. I really think that these colors go nicely with richer, deeper skin tones as well. So it's a very universal palette. I think anybody can use it from fair, light, medium, dark, all of that, okay? <laughs> so I like this palette, you guys, and I'm so happy I like it because when I said I wasn't buying no food palettes, I meant it, okay? And so when I broke down, fell in love with this cookie and bought it, I was concerned like, uh, am I gonna like it? Is it gonna be good, you know? But I love it, really, really love it. <laughs> So I caved and I bought, and it's from a different company though, Glam Light. I bought their burger palette, okay? I see everybody using the burger palette from Glam Light and it's like, they love it. So of course, you know your girl had to go ahead, break down and get it. So I bought that one as well. But for this cookie palette, you guys, yeah, I like it. So enough of me yak yakking about this delicious cookie palette. <laughs> If you'd like to see how I created this eye look today using this cute little cookie palette, then stay tuned because it's coming up next. Okay, you guys, let's go ahead and get started. I'm prepping my lids with my MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot like I normally do. And I'm using tape today because I want a nice, crisp line for this look. So I'm starting out with this dark burgundy shade in the palette and I am placing that in my crease area. And as you can see, I'm just starting off by tapping it in the crease just to see how nice the pigmentation is, if it's deep enough. And as you can see, it's very nice. So I'm just taking my time building it up in the crease and I'm going to just make sure this is nice and dark because I wanna do a defined cut crease today. Now to blend that color out, I'm going into this dark red shade and I'm using that to blend out the edge of that burgundy color. And I'm using a denser, fluffy blending brush just to go ahead and blow that color out up into the upper portion of my lid. Just taking my time doing this, but as you can see, it's blending out very nicely, very easily. I really, really like how these two colors worked together. You see that blend? Nice, very nice blend. Next, I'm going into the darkest brown in the palette and I am placing that in my crease area, just following the curvature of my eye. I wanna deepen this area up because when I do my cut crease, I wanna make sure you can see that brown in the crease area nice and deep. and I'm just blending that into that burgundy shade. Now I'm using my Revolution Cut Crease Canvas 
and I'm gonna go ahead and blink so I can find out where to cut my crease. And I'm doing a nice rounded, or at least I'm trying to do a nice rounded shape today. I usually drag it out and kind of wing it, but I'm just trying to create a nice circle. So I'm gonna start with the blue, and I'm placing the blue in the outer portion of that cut crease. And as you can see, that blue is gorgeous, it's popping. I did not wet my brush. I just used a flat brush to place that down on the outer portion of my cut crease. Next, I'm going into this beautiful green shade. Once again, I'm not wetting my brush, placing that right next to that blue and just kind of blending those two into each other. And it's kind of like a mint green. It's not a deep, dark green. It's a nice mint color. And I like it. It's a nice change of pace. Very pretty. And those colors blend it in very nicely together. Now I'm going into what I would describe as kind of like a burnt orange copper color. It looks a lot deeper in the pan than it does when you actually place it on your lid. I don't know why, but it just reminds me of a beautiful copper shade, but it does have a bit of kind of an orangey red tint to it. I wasn't sure how it was gonna blend in with that green, but I was able to blend them together nicely and I really like it, it's very, very pretty. Lastly, I'm going into the gold and using that on the very inner portion of my cut crease. Of course, blending it nicely into that copper shade. This gold is gorgeous, you guys. And I think if I would have sprayed my brush, it really would have been nice and shiny. But I like how they all blended together. So now I'm gonna go ahead and place a little bit of my liquid black eyeliner from Wet n Wild just on the upper portion of my eyelid. And I did decide that I wanted to do a little bit of a wing. Try not to get too crazy with the wing today, you guys. So this is what we have. Now I'm gonna go ahead, finish up my complexion, and then we'll come back and complete these eyes. So I wanna go ahead, bring that green down to my lower lash line. So I'm just using one of my green eyeliner pencils that I got from AliExpress, placing that pretty green color on my lower lash line. And I'm going to smoke out my lower lash line with that red that we used earlier to blend out the crease. And as you can see, it is very pretty. And I'm going to use this gold as my inner corner highlight because that is the lightest shimmer in this palette. Very nice, very nice. I'm using my Essence Princess Mascara on my upper lashes. And I'm going to use my Clinique Mascara on my lower lashes because I like this tiny little brush that comes in this mascara. Going in with my favorite lip liner, my Ellery and ColourPop lip liner. You guys know I love this burgundy shade. And I'm using my Milani Matte Naked Lipstick to kind of blend that in. And I'm setting my face with my Milani setting spray today, you guys. And this is the completed look. I love this look. I hope you guys like it too. It really reminds me of the shadows from the Desi and Katie Frankation palette for some reason. I really, really like these colors. So hopefully you enjoyed this little tutorial and my thoughts on this palette. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you on the next one. Toodles!